Hi, I'm Mark from Autoglim, and today you join me at the offices of Ikuri Batelli, the pre-war Aston Martin specialists. They've just come off a rally and we've been asked to help clean them and get them ready for winter storage. We're going to go through the processes, the products and the tools that you'll need to follow this at home. So let's get started. So whenever you do a clean, we always start down by the wheel area. And the most important thing is to check that the surfaces are cool before we begin and they are and that's great. So we're going to clean the wheels with a, with a gentle uh, wheel cleaner here. We're going to spray that on and agitate into all the nooks and crannies with various brushes and things to help us get into all this area. So now we've cleaned the wheels and tyres, we can move on to the other areas in this section. So we're going to use a water-based degreaser. It's the multi-purpose cleaner. This is Autoglim Multi-Wash. And we're going to spray this onto the fender, the underside, and all these areas over here. And then we can agitate with a brush and loosen all that dirt. And it's really important to spend your time here on these hidden areas. Once you're happy the area's clean and all the dirt's been loosened, go ahead and use a high pressured water jet to rinse it all off. Now we've got the wheels and suspension areas clean, we move on to the bodywork. So it's a good idea to look around the car and try and identify any problem areas that might be a bit more stubborn to clean so we can pre-treat them separately. The exhaust has kicked out a load of muck all over the back end of this car. So we're gonna use the same water-based multi-purpose cleaner that we used on the suspension areas to pre-treat this area to get the most of it off, let it dwell for a second. So really on the top of bits, a little bit of agitation with a really soft brush like this will just help lift that dirt. And then give it a high pressure rinse off with the pressure washer again. With the problem areas dealt with, we're now going to cover the entire car with a rich, dense snow foam. We're using Autogim Polar Blast. This will loosen any dirt and allow us to blast it off with the pressure washer before we move on to the contact wash next. This isn't essential, but it's a lot of fun and it's something we like to do. With the snow foam rinsed off the car, it may look clean, but there's still a lot of dirt on there left to get off. And we're gonna do that with the contact wash. So we've got 20 liters of water in here. We've added some pH neutral shampoo. We're using Autoglim foaming car wash. We're gonna add a grit guard, which means any dirt that we take off that gets captured into the wash mitt is kept safely underneath here and we're not putting it back onto the paintwork. Quite simply, use a high quality wash mitt like this get plenty of shampoo onto the, uh, onto the mitt and start from the top and work down. With the car now washed, it's time to move on to the drying phase. This is one of the most important things we're going to do today. With the car going into long-term storage, we need to make sure that all of the moisture and all of the water is off the car so we get no nasty surprises come the springtime. We're going to be using a drying cloth. This is the Autoglim Insta-Dry for the main bodywork panels. But down here, we also have a car dryer, which is really useful for these intricate areas around here. Again, one of these isn't essential, but it can make the job quicker and easier if you have one. With the car now completely clean and dry, any remaining problem areas will present themselves. Down here by the engine, we can see there's been some fuel overspill out on the rally, and we're going to remove that with a solvent cleaner this is Autoglim Intensive Tar Remover. It's safe for paintwork, but it will break down any fuel or adhesives and allow us to wipe them away easily with a soft cloth. The important thing with a product like this is to give it time to do its job. There's no point putting it on and wiping it straight off. Leave it for two to three minutes to break down the fuel and then it will wipe away easily. Absolutely beautiful. The next phase is polishing, and this does a number of things. It further deep cleans the paint, it takes care of any fine scratches and imperfections. It takes care of any blemishes that are on the surface of the paint as well. And it's also a great base for our last stage we're going to do, which is protection. I like to apply my polish using a foam applicator like this. There's tons to choose from, just use whichever you prefer. You don't need a lot of polish, just a thin line like this. Squeeze together and apply in overlapping circles, increasing the pressure over any blemishes. 
You don't want to cake it on, you just want a thin, even film over all the painted areas of the car. You can also apply to any highly polished areas like this. The same product is perfectly safe to use on those areas. As you polish, you will notice your applicator starts to pick up the colour of the car. Now it's important to say this isn't anything to worry about at all. The types of paint that were used on these cars when they were manufactured are completely different to the ones we're using today. So this is just a natural uh, effect. Don't worry, you're not going to take all of the paintwork off. It's just the way that this paint technology works. Another good tip is when you're polishing the louvers on the bonnet, don't go across them like this, otherwise you'll fill up all these little gaps with bits of polish, which you'll have to chase out later with a cocktail stick or something like that. So make sure you go with them like this across. That means you'll get a nice high gloss finish on all these areas without of all the pain of having to dig out all of that polish afterwards. Another thing to point out is that any panel edges or any edges of anything that's painted, the paintwork is often its thinnest there. So go gentle on these areas. The same if you're working down any of these panel gaps here. Just be careful on the edge because it's often thin there. And if you're overzealous, uh, you can actually break through. Uh, generally, you'll be fine if you're doing anything by hand. Um, this tip's especially important if you use a machine polisher or a, or a particularly firm handed on any of these areas. With the polish now dried to a haze, it's ready to remove. A good tip to check if polish is ready to take off is to swipe your finger through it. If it comes back shiny, it's time to take off. If it stays greasy, you need to leave it a little longer. Removal is super simple. Just use a clean, high quality microfiber cloth and remove in overlapping circles. So with the polish buffed off, the car is now looking absolutely incredible. And we want to make sure it stays that way for as long as possible. And we want to make sure that next time we come to clean it, it's really easy. So we have a range of options here. We can either put on a modern ceramic type product. We can put on a paste wax type product, or we can put on a liquid wax product. And today we've opted to put on this liquid wax. It's called extra gloss protection. And being a liquid, it's gonna help us get into every single area of this car. All these complicated parts at the front are gonna be no trouble at all for that. It's very simple to put on. Simply wipe over, no hard buffing or rubbing required. Leave it for 30 to 60 minutes, and then a simple buff off. So while the extra gloss protection is drying on the paintwork, it's a great time to dress the tires. Dressing the tyres will restore this grey, slightly faded rubber back to a really luscious, thick black that looks just fantastic on a car like this. We're going to be using Autoglim Instant Tire Dressing to do this, and to keep things nice and neat, we're going to apply it using a sponge. The great thing about all Autoglim tire dressings is they can give one of two finishes. They can either give a high gloss finish like this, or if you prefer something a bit more muted, they can give a satin sheen. For the high gloss, apply the product and leave it to dry. For the satin sheen, apply it and then wipe over with a microfiber cloth just to take the shine off a little. The liquid wax has been on the car for about half an hour now. A swipe test shows me it's ready to take off and we'll be using another clean microfiber cloth. And there we have it, the car's finished and it looks absolutely amazing. Today we've cleaned, polished and protected this Aston Martin. It's now ready to be safely tucked up for the winter until it comes out again to be used in the spring. All of the products you've seen today are readily available and are all used around the world by professional valeters and detailers. If you have any car cleaning questions at all, please do contact Autoglim. And if you have any questions about these, please contact Akiri Butelli. Thanks very much for watching.